the city, all they want us to be is ourselves. You love us how we are. We're all a work in progress as, a, as men, and you still love us, and I thank you so much for embracing us. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, my family, my brother Tony, I love you. Thank you for beating me up when I was a kid. I always wanted to follow in your footsteps. I pray for you every night. You've, you've taught me to feel confident in myself, believe in myself, that I can do it when I didn't think I could do it. Dad, it's been an up and down road for all of us, but you've always been there supporting from afar, texting me Bible verses every single day, telling me you love me every single day. And that builds me up, and I thank you so much. I love you. I'm just glad you're part of this journey with us. My little brother, Ray Vaughn, You always followed after my footsteps. I always want to set a great example for you, man. Thank you for all the support. I love you. All my friends, Cliff, Charlie, Vernon, Tay, Randy, Ryan. You keep me sane every single day. There's days where I come home upset from a game or a practice or and you just brighten my day up. I thank you guys. You mean the world to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here with all you guys, without all of you guys. This is, this is our trophy too. I appreciate it. Thank you. All the support from all my friends, all my family over the years, I appreciate it. My grandma who couldn't be here, I know she's watching. She's gonna text me as soon as I get off the stage. Thank you so much for picking me up from school when I was a kid, fixing me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day, texting me after every game, telling me I need to stop getting texts, and loving me unconditionally. And, and last, my mom. I don't think you know what you did. You had my brother when you were 18 years old. Three years later, I came out. We were stacked, the odds were stacked against us. Single parent with two boys by the time you were 21 years old. Everybody told us we weren't supposed to be here. We moved from apartment to apartment by ourselves. One of the best memories I had is when we moved into our, our first apartment. No, no bed, no furniture, and we just all sat in, in the living room and just hugged each other. Because we, that's what we, we thought we made it. And when, you, when something good happens to you, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to look back to what brought me here. And you wake me up in the middle of the night in the summer times, making me run up a hill, making me do push-ups, screaming at me from the sideline of my games at eight or nine years old. We wasn't supposed to be here. You made us believe. You kept us off the street. You put clothes on our backs, food on the table. When you didn't eat, you made sure we ate. You went to sleep hungry. You sacrificed for us. <laughs> you the real MVP.